on the floor and all the, the areas that stats show and then all the areas that stats don't show. Um, being the best screener, cutting, um, creating advantages for my teammates and, um, you know, obviously getting people involved and making plays and rebounding and things like that. Jason, I'm pretty sure championships matter, so you want to win more. As an individual, how important is MVP to you? Uh, I think just as a kid, you set a lot of goals for yourself. Um, and I've been very fortunate enough to check off a lot of boxes of things that um, I wanted to accomplish, things that my favorite players accomplished. Um, and, you know, saying I want, saying that MVP is important to me is not in the way like taken away from the success of our team. Everybody, every guy that's ever won MVP has been on a championship contending team. Uh, if you're an MVP, you're dominating, you're efficient, you're playing the right way, and you're impacting winning. Um, so you can do both. Championship is the most important, um, but you know, being the best version of yourself along the way is important as well. Given the length of your season last year, playing in the Olympics, where did you find the time? How did you find the time to work on your game? You know that you might normally do. Uh, you know, after the Olympics, I took some time off, and then um, a few weeks before training camp, and I, I think I had a really, really good training camp um, as an individual, uh, working on my body, working on my conditioning, and. Um, you know, as a as a teammate, I feel like we had a really great training camp, preseason games, and then you know those practice days. Chase, are you used to like the Wizards got like four or five rookies there? I mean, nineteen year olds coming at you. You were just a minute ago. You were nineteen. I think you might still be nineteen. But are you kind of used in year eight? To guys like Saar and Carrington like coming at you. And trying to prove themselves against you. And is it, what, how does that make you feel uh, in terms of that position? Uh, it really just shows how time flies. Um, you know, and guys coming in the league at, at, at 19 and um, probably been watching me play in the league for, for seven years. Um, and, you know, I saw in perspective, I remember being a, a top three pick and coming into the league and playing against guys that um, I watched growing up, maybe guys that you know, one of my favorite players or whatever. Um, and I, I know as, as a 19 year old, you just want to you want to earn the respect of your peers and guys that you looked up to. Uh, so I, I know what it's like to be in their shoes. Is there a part of you that likes like the welcome NBA moments, like for like your matchup with Star a few times uh, and had success? Like you kind of like, you know, showing like this is what it's like up here type of thing? I mean, I'm not like going after him because he he's a rookie, uh, but it, it's also you know it's part of like give a damn if you you're 19 or you're one like we, if you're on the court, you know you treat everybody the same, uh, and that's how it should be, right? Uh, you don't take it easy on nobody. Uh, nobody took it easy on me, you know, when I was 19. That's that's how you get better, and it's part of competition. Last question. I think for me, uh, I, I never, you know, you can never dream too big. It's important to surround yourself with the right people. Um, nobody has ever been successful by themselves. It, it takes a, a team, a village. Um, it takes support. Um, and I've always been grateful. I, I, I never took things for granted, um, whether it's my own shoe, signature uh, cover 2K, or you know, making an all-star game the last five years. Like, I I was ex as excited this past year as I was the first time. So um, keeping that joy of, you know, when you are able to check off certain things, because um, you just got to remember it when it was a time when you wanted to aspire to do, you know, what you're